Hello and welcome to VOP Business. I am Kayla Abraham. On the show today, we'll be turning our spotlights on the most important issues in the economy. With just less than a week left to the end of President Muhammad Buhari's eight-year tenure, VOP Business will be introducing a series on how he has fared in managing the economy and whether life is better and easier for Nigerians today than it was in 2015 when he was sworn into office. Our focus today is on foreign trade. Nigeria's currency has depreciated by 57.45% against the dollar on the official foreign exchange, exchange markets in the eight-year tenure of President Muhammad Buhari. Buhari, who will leave office in less than four days, had in 2015 promised that his administration would help stabilize the Naira. The foreign exchange pressure continued at the parallel market, where the Naira depreciated by 37.58 percent, equates to 280 Naira to 740 Naira per dollar as of Wednesday, May 17, 2023, compared to 465 Naira per dollar in 2016. The CBN has, within the eight years, introduced various FX policies in an effort to stabilize the Naira and ensure effective utilization of foreign exchange allocation. In June 2023-2015, in June 23-2015, the CBN restricted importance of 41 items from accessing foreign exchange. In the same year, there was an FX policy that limited the usage of Naira denominated cards overseas to $300 per person per day. Last year, Several banks reduced it to $20 while some suspended the usage of the cards for international spending. The bank also adjusted downward the selling rate of FX to B road to change operators and increased the fre frequency of its intervention in other windows to ease access and availability of FX to end users. On April 2017, on April 27, 2018, the central bank signed a three-year bilateral currency swap agreement of $2.5 billion, equivalent to $15 billion or $720 billion Naira with the People's Bank of China as part of an effort to reduce FX demand pressure and facilitate investment. The CBN in September 2020 mandated lenders to place post-no-debit status on the accounts of entities that participate in the parallel market. The Federal Ministry of Works and Housing says 221 billion Naira has been disbursed to contractors as costs for the construction of 71 road projects completed in various parts of the country under the 2021 Sukuk bond funds. This was asked as to refuted allegations by some aggrieved contractors in an online publication that funds allocated to projects in the 2022 Sukuk found Fund were being delayed and placed into bank accounts to embezzle accrued interest. The review tool was issued a statement titled and signed by the director overseeing the Office of Permanent Secretary for Laurent Shaw Esson on Wednesday. The ministry insisted that it completed the disbursement for the payment of executed contracts in the 2021 Sukuk funding adding that the payment ended in April 2022 and a total of $221 billion was paid. Also, Mr. Esson po pointed out the, that Sukuk funds are domiciled in the Central Bank of Nigeria and are only released to the Ministry for Payment after the necessary processes and approvals are obtained. The Ministry urged the public to always cross-check their facts before going to the media in order to avoid obstacles death unsubstantiated allegations and avoidable waste of taxpayers' money for energies that should be channeled into more productive ventures. The House of Representatives has approved the extension of the implementation period of the capital component of the 2022 Appropriation Act by six months from June to December 2023 on Wednesday. The House, as a committee of supply, considered and approved the request made by the President Muhammad Buhari on behalf of the federal government. Based on the request of the executive arm of the government, the National Assembly and extended the lifespan of last year's budget from, 20, from December 31, 2022 
to June 30, 2023, before the presidential request for further extension. The, late, the latest extension is coming as Buhari leaves power and Bola Tinubu is sworn in as president on Monday. The Tinubu administration will be left with concurrent implementation of the 2022 and 2023 Appropriation Act. Meanwhile, the House also passed the 2021, 2022 and 2023 budgets of the Niger Delta Development Commission with a budgetary estimate for the three years totaling 2.21 trillion naira. Passage of the budgets followed the consideration and adoption of the report by the House Committee on NDDC on the proposed estimate earlier on Tuesday as laid by the chairman Olubumi Tunji Ojo. The cash scarcity caused by the Naira redesign policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria has pushed Nigerians' gross domestic product growth below global projection of the World Bank, International Monetary Fund and the African Development Bank. The World Bank said that the Nigerian economy would grow by 2.8% in 2023, down from 3.3% in 2022, in its Africa Pulse Report April 2023 edition titled Leveraging Resource Wealth During the Low Carbon Transition. The African Development Bank in, Niger in January projected that Nigeria's GDP, which indicates the economic growth rate, would inch up to 3.1% in 2023, adding that Uncertainty, uncertainty about policy continuity after the election and rising insecurity will weaken the nation's growth prospects during the year. However, Nigeria's GDP growth fell to 2.31% in the first quarter of 2023 from 3.52% in the fourth quarter of 2022, according to the National Bureau of Statistics. The NBS attributed the decline to the adverse effects of the cash crunch experience during the quarter. The decline is also slightly below a recent projection by KPMG that Nigerians' GDP will grow at a relatively slow pace of 3% in 2023 due to challenges associated with the Naira redesign and political transition. The Monetary Policy Committee MPC of the Central Bank of Nigeria has unanimously voted to increase its monetary policy interest rates to 18.5% on Wednesday. It was gathered in March the MPC of the bank voted to increase the benchmark interest rate by 50 basis points to 18%. The CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele, disclosed this while reading the communique communique of the third MPC meeting of the year on Wednesday. Justifying the rising inflation rates, the MPC blamed the high energy costs and challenges around the supply chain, among others, which are beyond the reach of the CBN. The Apex Bank had decreased the MPR from 11.5% earlier last year to 18% in March this year, across six consecutive rate hikes. And that is a wrap on VAP Business. I am Kayla Abraham. Thanks for watching.